Jumbo, and welcome to our tent at Angamamara. This place is spectacular. Uh, we are just over the Mara Triangle. The migration is coming through here right now, so you're gonna get to see some footage coming up really soon of the big crossing uh, of the Mara River. But in the meantime, let's take a look at the room. We've got the bed area and a little bit of a workspace. Couch and living space. Not bad for a tent, huh? Bathtub, let's walk over and see the bathroom here. Double sinks, Africanology uh, products. Nice deep bathtub, toilet and huge shower. It's actually a walk through shower. It's pretty cool. And then this is what makes it all worth it. We're about 2,000 meters or about 6,000 feet up over the Masai Mara. Uh, so you've got a view for as far as the eye can see. They give you binoculars. Everything is included when you're here. You've got all your meals, all your drinks, your activities. Um, you name it, it's here. Uh, this is really something spectacular for all the time traveling to get here. Everything is now worth it. Come enjoy our adventures and follow us along on Instagram and all of our social media. These things, they look like a two to three liter. They put these things inside. They make like a, a red juice from the tree. So when they make the juice, they pull the cow, they tie it for leg, and they pull their tongue out, and they force the cow to drink the water of this tree. So that juice of this tree, they make the back of this tree, they make the juice. So they give after 15, 20 minutes, they give their cow to push, push the plant centers out. So it's a very, very important tree into the table. When the dry season is coming, no more grass here because sometimes, I think you saw a big number of the wallabies coming in here. So for us sometimes to go down to take the cows into the, into the grass, to look for the grass. So when you're looking, take the cows into the, to the river for drinking water. And we saw some vehicles looking at the line and far away there so the line they kill the zebra and they bring into the river in the bank of the river they have a barrel there putting the the tiny babies in there the small cups and then they went out far away a little bit to sitting on the termine for looking for another hunting so for us to bring the cows into the river so the house is running because of the smell of the lion so for us, we're running away to come to source going on there. 
but we saw some small calves circling, jumping, sitting on the top of the of the top of the of the zebra. For us, we're running and we have a, a big blanket. It was very tiny to take because like a, like a dog. For us, putting a, a blanket, and putting two of them in the blanket, so the cloths coming out. And I have, I think, I, I don't know, because no more that injury. So that time, I have so so injury. So, and then I I hold two. Other boys they hold another two. One they take one. Another boy they take one. And then to bring home. So when I bring home, I have my dog. Immediately, just imagine all my dogs they run away to me because of the small cup of line I have it. The voice, all the cows run away. The dogs, all my dogs, they leave me away. In my house, I go and I make a corner, small corner in my the room of my house, for my mom's house, it was put the firewood, I put out the firewood, and then I put there for putting the small baby line there. So, every day, for us now, support will be hunters. Look at meat, and then I, I, I look at a small plane, I put milk, and then I give him to drink. So I'm making, I'm making, just money. For almost for six, seven months old. It's almost this size. Oh. I'm walking every day, I go cows, then I'm come back, so they follow me. My dogs run away for me. For my house, I don't know where my dogs go. So every day I go to the cows, I walk them, I go to kill the woodshock there with my spears, and then to slaughter for them. Sometimes to go because it is still small, not that they don't know how to hunt. I do that. One day our mothers they was going to do um, a gate selling the beads. I don't know what's happened there. They gave <coughs> the talking story about the lions, and the park rangers come to know. Oh, the boys from the villages. They have a small cup of the of the lines. So all my this police guy, the park rangers come to our home. If something was good that time, I was lucky I went to school. Because sometime in uh, weekend time and uh, Saturday and Sunday I'll be home. I take them to their house. From Monday to Friday I'm school. So they come. Things or was on Monday, I was in school. So this looking, the ladies go talking there, and says, oh, the boys have the dogs, they have the lion, babies, or like calves like that. They come to our home. When I come to my home, this looking the dogs, they look at the, the lion calf, they do the found. They found two, and they take away. So when I came, my mom told me, take away this thing from my house, take away. Was the parents who was here, and then he said, mama, I'm ready, can you take me? Take me with this one, but I can't give them. It's mine, I found them, the bush. The EU has, but it's for them. Because that way it's the, it's for the park ranger, they take care of this thing. They can send me, I need to kill them. Look at, I bring when you're very young, look now, six, seven months old. So how can I take them? I take them. Okay, so one day, uh, in the morning, it's Saturday, the park ranger is coming. So he was chasing us. So he chased me, and the, and the lion chased me. <laughs> the lion just running for me, follow for me. <laughs> and the park ranger chased us. I rush and then I go up the trees. So if you go to the line, they already climbed it to a sound here. Park Ranger told me, come down, can he shoot you? Come down. I didn't come down. So uh, they tried to hold my my, my, my cup line, line they want to beat him. So they did me to come down and then I can take this land to them to take me with this land. Then I go to live for them and then I can, I can come back. Because they don't take me self because I'm very young, I don't have ID. It's not supporting me to take ID in self. If something can want support me, they need me to take these cups to them, to give for them. Because of the, the cup was tough for me to defend my tree and they defend me. So the line cups there. So the, 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 the park rangers over there with their gun, they want to shoot, they want to shoot my cups line and me I'm up on the trees. <laughs> so one talk for me, please, please come down. Please come down. You don't kill, you don't fight, you don't kill you. No, 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 just come please. So I came down. The lines come to around for me. Me, please, do you need those one? This and this and this and this. Talk with me. Oh, so as I come, they come to me. I greet them. So they told me, just telling me a story about how do we get this one. And then I explain for them this how to do the same thing, same thing. I bring one maybe was like a, I feel like a, a week, a week old. 
I bring in, but now they have like six, seven miners all now. So it's a bigger one now. So, but they tell me to need to take back to look for the planets where it is. Although it's difficult now because of already you stay with them, but to need to take away because it's not support to you, you stay with them. Oh, I cry. Mm -hmm. I cry. So, so then I tell them, how do you do? They say, they, have, they bring a box. They told me, please just put in and then you close. So, because I have a female with a male, so those two cups, a cup of male, a cup of male. So the male, there was almost little hairs come here. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking, this one. And then, just imagine, uh, and then I have a lot of meat from the village. I put in the tree, hang up the tree. For a year, I don't eat all the dogs. I put it up there because of every day, weekend times, no school. I came there. I go to go to to the cows and then to go for poaching the meat for for the lions <laughs> and try to do the woodshock anything to kill <laughs> to have party food for for them. That that's something to do every weekend. Mm -hmm. How can get a food for them to eat? Okay, the park range. I put it in there. They take away to me. After they take away. Okay, and then I go after another four days to enter the bush for looking looking cows and then to go to see the cows running boom i think one one baby uh, one baby of the lion's cubs they hear the billing of their cow pop, 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 and they come they don't know where it came from to go to see the cows start calling they go into the grass start calling when i go is there another cow mm -hmm. the same same one Ooh. i take again back home <laughs> after another two weeks coming again the park ranger is there a little bit to want to take my blood cell. My dad said, I went, I get it. I wasn't looking at the house and they hear the billing of the cow and they come back. I didn't go to bring. I don't know where you take it, but they come back to the to our cows because they hear the bell of the cows. They take away. They told they told my dad, You are boy when you bring again this one here. So I'm going to put to you cell for 50 years. My dad told me, John, even can you phone again, don't bring. My daddy was telling me, please. And then again, don't you don't go cow. My dad. For one year, I didn't go cow again. I will stay home, looking sheep and goat, the small cow. I don't go cows. Because I, they know when I go cows, and maybe I can bring back. Or I can find and I bring back. So, so it was, this was a nice one, but I wish maybe on today I'm a very clever one. I can, I don't know why I can't even it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah.